Today we're unboxing the 2020 Spaces Planner. Now this planner is specifically made for busy moms. So I am not a busy mom, so I will just let you know that. And I probably won't be able to comment on it as well as a busy mom could, but I am a busy person. So let's take a look inside and see what we get. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings like today on Saturdays. So today we're going to take a look at the 2020 Spaces Planner. Now if you've never heard of this, it's not a big planner company. I do think it's beautiful. It kind of looks like makeup, right? On the top it has some nice gold foiling but it only has gold foiling on the cover. There's none actually inside of the planner, in case you were wondering. Uh, it is a full year planner. It does have weekly layouts. And this planner was, I believe it was $55. You had to pay for tax and shipping. Uh, so let's just go ahead and take a look inside. So we came in this super plain brown box. So nothing special, absolutely no branding or labeling or anything else on this box. There was no bubble wrap either, so it did bounce around, um, I think, when it was being transported. So it does have a nice bubble wrap on the top, and it has another plastic wrap over here. And I think this is really pretty. It has the nice gold foil, and I did like it specifically because it was so wide, and I write really big. So this is the only planner I've seen that is this wide. So let's go ahead, open it up. It is chipboard. It has these nice corner protectors, and this planner belongs to, so you get one big page just to write that. Uh, a little welcome from Rachel who created it, and then a little direction on how she wants you to use it. So I always appreciate it when people do that. Uh, we have 2020 on a two-page spread over here and 2021 on a two-page spread. And then we get our first tab, which is January. So I don't know if you can see all of the tabs line up on here each month. And then we have big plans and notes over here at the bottom. So let's just go through. So January looks like it matches the front. So I'm guessing I could be wrong, but all of her planners, the cover probably matches the top. Um, so this is a pretty wide layout, uh, just like you'd expect. So plenty of room over here to write notes, but yeah, that's fine. And then we jump over here into week one and she has personal, she has housework. Um, it looks like we just have two blank boxes. And then we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then next week. So down here, I'm not really sure how this is intended. I guess it would have helped if I had stopped for a second to read the directions, I guess. Um, but dates of the week for a quick overview, I see. Each space is lined to keep your week nice and neat. Seven blank spaces allow for weekly personalization. Um, and then five pre-labeled spaces, personal, housework, errands, health, and relationships. So personal, housework, <laughs> I just laugh at this. Um, I think this only applies if you have a lot of people in the house. Um, errands, health, and relationships. I honestly don't even know what I'd put in there. Um, and then just lots of blank spaces. Uh, so week two is a rinse and repeat of the same thing. So really the only dated part is this bottom part. And then the top is just uh, a lot of blank lines, I guess, with boxes. Um, so I guess if you like that, so here we go, week four, same thing, rinse and repeat, week five, rinse and repeat, and then you actually get some pages for notes, and now these are a little different, right? So usually notes are just lines or dots, and she actually has a quadrant so set up, so you got four boxes here, and then you have a two boxes here. So she seems to really like boxes um, for data. And then you finally get a traditional notes page over here. So February is the first month where we actually get a quote, be grateful for the small things, the big things, and everything in between. Um, we have that same pattern, but there's no, I don't know if you can see this, it's actually not gold foil. I think the only gold foiling on the entire thing is just the cover, which is fine. It is very expensive to put gold foiling inside of here. Um, so these are just more like a yellow goldish kind of color. And this looks exactly like um, 
No, it doesn't. It's a little different. This pattern's a little different and the color's a little different for February. But we do, again, a winter repeat. So we start out with week one again. So it doesn't continue the numbering from week to week. So it's not, you know, week five. Uh, each month starts out with a new week. So we do this rinse and repeat cycle and it looks like she does the same thing. You get the four quadrants here of lines, two boxes of lines, and then a whole notes page. And then you get another... Um, quote with uh these cute decorations when you see something big oh no when you see something beautiful i don't even know how i put that word big in there uh and someone speak it and again so this is a little different yeah so it's the same sort of uh like design but she uses some different colors so that's nice on each one so there's january there's february and there's March. Um, and so it looks like a rinse and repeat. So I'll just go through each of the months that you see the new tabs. And there's May, there's June, July, August, September, October, November, December, and now we have big plans. It's not what we have in life, but who we have in our lives that matters. So which is kind of an odd quote when you talk about plans. I would think this would be more of a goal plan, but that sounds more like, it sounds very uh, into relationships, which again, I'm not really sure what the intent of this relationship box is. Um, so now we have, I don't know if you can see, the, they are very light, um, so I do appreciate that, but you have two boxes of lines again, another box of lines, another box of lines, another box of lines, another box of lines, and then just another box. So this is like the planner of boxes. So again, over here, two long boxes, uh, or two, yeah, long wide rectangles, another long tall box, a column box. So it's very, um, I don't know. I feel like I'm not even sure what these are for. I would want a little bit more direction. I don't know why some of these are skinny, some of these are wide, because um, you're kind of stuck with the constraints, right? Because you can only write so many things over here. Uh, so that's pretty much all big plans are. So no direction. It's just really just a lot of boxes with lines in them. And then you finally have a note section over here and you get one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six pages of notes and then you get a pocket folder over here and you have the back with the nice gold foiling as well so that's kind of it so what you think I loved the design on the cover I love the gold foiling I like the makeup colors I like the color palettes on each of the months I love the gold coiling um I love the the really wide shape that is primo numero uno the reason i even picked this up even though i knew it was for moms um but the actual interior layout and where you get to write was not so ideal but again maybe that's because i'm not a mom in each of the boxes i guess i just needed some more direction like what should i put in the box but I think it was purposely left blank. So in theory, you could decide on your own what you wanted to put in the boxes. So I guess personal preference on what you do and don't like, it's just so wide. And I thought I'd have all this great writing space across, but because there were skinny little boxes here, there was one random box here, a short, a long. I just, it was, um, it didn't really uh, work for me, but let me know what you think in the comments below. So. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Saturday. And remember, if you would like to make your own planner, make sure to sign up for my free five-day course, Planner 101. There's a link below. And I will talk to you guys on Monday. Bye.